Hey Tom, how's it going? Um, anyways, so I'm just recording this through uh, certain programs, so you can see on my screen, you know, flash is open. There's a character right here. Uh, this, in order to get through what you're uh, trying to do with the copy but different ties, uh, this is more or less how you're going to want to go about with it. So, first of all, we're just going to uh, press Control D in order to make a duplicate of your guy. And then, going to right click and you're going to go to Duplicate Symbol. And so, if Investor Comp, that was the original name, uh, we'll just put this one as dash two. Well, however you want to name it, it's fine. So now, whatever you do inside here immediately won't affect this guy. But since, you know, right here his body is a symbol also, that'll affect the body of the symbol in this one. So here you'll actually have to go and duplicate the symbol of his torso. So we're just gonna do dash two here just to keep it consistent. So that way, Torso dash two over here goes along with tor uh, investor comp two. And we're just going to double click in there, and we see that you have a tie that is uh, same color here. Now, you could do one of two things. You could either, if you're going to plan on having any animation with the tie inside here, then you could just go and duplicate again. Or you can just have, if you're not going to have the tie animated at all, you could just have it as different frames with the different colors and just have like, so it's one less symbol, but it's all up to you. I would probably do a duplicate symbol here in case you want to add some sway to the uh, the tie or any animation, just for something future that you might end up doing. So now if we end up changing uh, the color here, it shouldn't affect the other color. Yeah, let's give it something different. So now whatever animation you do, uh, if you wanted to actually them all to have the same type of animation, I'd suggest animating first before actually doing the duplicate thing. Um, it just makes your life a little bit easier in the long run. And so you see here it's still orange and here it's purple. Oh, and you just repeat control D, right click, duplicate symbol, you know, dash three, duplicate symbol, three, duplicate symbol, three. And we'll toss this one into this color. So, uh, yeah, so anytime that you want to change, like, one item like that, you have to keep on duplicating symbols all the way down to its raw artwork. And that way, when you if, uh, change the raw artwork, it won't change the raw artwork of the pre other symbols, your originals, and you still get the same effect. Uh, hopefully that helps out. Uh, let me know if you run into any other troubles. I'll try to get on to doing videos like this. It'll just make life a lot easier. You can visually see the changes and see exactly what I press and do. And I think it's a lot clearer that way.